Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our use back with another video and today I will show you guys some amazing things that your iPhone can do and you probably never knew about. Now, iPhones are packed with hidden features and tricks that most users actually never know about and never use them on their iPhone. So in this video, I will show you guys some of those that you will probably like and of course use them on daily basis on your iPhone. Now, before we get into that, make sure you smash the like button. That's a hidden trick to also make this video do much much better so make sure you don't leave the video without smashing that like button all right for the first trick we're heading to the shortcuts app go to shortcuts and go to the automation section tap on create personal automation and right here what you need to find is app when you go to app you can choose here any app that you have on your device and you can choose any amount of apps you want you can select one you can even select more and you can do this for any app you want now what you can do here is actually set the volume specifically for any app that you want so if you have like let's say apps that you want the volume to be always all, all the way down when you open those apps then this is a trick for you you select the apps right here and tap on the next Next button and then tap on add action and search for set volume once you have found set volume tap right there and set the volume to any amount you want so in this case we want to go with zero percent so every time we open one of those three apps the volume will automatically go to zero so I'll just tap next make sure you disable the switch right here and click done now what you have here is an automation that will set the volume to zero anytime you open one of those three apps that you just selected right there as you can see you get a notification which basically lets you know that the, the automation has ran and of course the volume is now at zero when you want to send a picture on iMessage, you can find a really cool trick here. So just tap the little camera right there and make sure you tap on that little icon on the left side. And once you have done that, you will get all these little icons right here. Now, what you need to do is just tap on the fourth one right here. You can see that little pink icon. You just tap right there and you will get all these shapes that you can add to your video or picture that you sent. So you can tap and hold on one of those and just drag it anywhere you want on your picture. And now, of course, you can even add more. So let's just add that. Tap the X button once you're done. Now we can take a video here or even a picture and you can see those animations right there on the video that we can send right now. So you can see how cool those are. You can send them all that on iMessage to anyone you want just like that. So really, really cool. You can add all kinds of cool stuff directly from the camera on the iMessage app. A cool thing on iOS 14 are of course the home screen widgets. Now most home screen widgets on iOS 14 are actually useless. But here comes Widget. Now I suggest everyone installs Widget because you can do a lot with the with the app and of course the widgets that it offers so there are a ton of things that you can do actions that you can add to the widgets that most people probably don't even know about so here i have an example here's an amazing widget which is actually transparent it looks like a conversation here and it basically shows you different information so you can see right there at the top we have good afternoon and all that we have here the weather what if i want to add the battery percentage right here this is how widget works it is really cool so i open widget and i go right here i found i find here the widget that i have on the home screen i can tap on it and i can go ahead and edit this widget so what i should do here is just select that part of the text right there and go to data right there so here's what we have there type we can go ahead and delete this and I can go ahead and create another like part of that conversation. So I can just go ahead and tap on add new data and just add their custom text. So I want to add battery. So first of all, I will add the question there. So what's the battery percentage? So let's just go ahead and type that. So here I can add what's the battery percentage and go ahead and tap on update. So there it is. Now tap on this other part right here and just go ahead and delete whatever is already or on there so you can add like different information here tap on add new data and from here what you should do is go ahead and find system info so here we have system info we have battery level and right there it will show the battery level of my device go back tap on confirm and now we have the widget 
edit it and of course we have added whatever we want right there so you can see now this widget it looks pretty cool it's just like a conversation but it will show me my weather as well as my battery percentage right there how cool is that now you can even add actions to widgets on ios 14 with widget of course so if i want to i can go ahead and edit this widget and i can just tap the plus button right there to add a tap action now you can see that little zone right there i can go ahead and make it bigger and of course i can go ahead and move it around so i can just make that part right there an action so i suggest i go ahead and select that and then go to action and here what i can do i can have custom actions like open a url or run a shortcut or go to apple apps and just choose any apps and i will be able to open that app using this widget so just go ahead and do that with the app store tap and confirm and now when i go to the home screen i can just go ahead and tap right there and it will open actually app store for me that's really really cool so these are the amazing things that you can do with widgets on ios 14 of course as long as you have widget installed on your device which of course i will leave it linked right down below in the description of the video and of course you can install this app for free this next trick will probably be useful for a lot of people it will let you lock any app on ios 14 with face id touch id or your passcode now the way it works very very simple go to the clock app and go to timer and go then right here when timer ends and make sure you select stop playing and click on set once you have done that all you need to do is go to the shortcuts app and go to automations tap on the little plus button and tap on create personal automation then right here just make sure you find app here you will choose any app that you want to lock so tap on choose and choose the apps that you want to lock and this will let you actually lock those apps so you can choose as many apps as you want and then tap the dumb button and then tap next now on add action just search for start timer So once you have found start timer tap on it and switch this right here so you need to make this into seconds tap on minutes make it seconds and just add one here because it will actually be one second and tap next disable this and tap done now whenever someone tries to open one of those apps you can see what happens it will basically lock out of the device and now you will have to enter face id touch id or passcode whichever security feature you use to actually unlock your iphone and then go into the app the next trick i'm about to show you guys has to do with notes and stuff that you find on websites so let's say you find a link or you find some text on a website that you want to save well if you tap the share button right here on any website you will have the notes app right here you tap there and you can go ahead and create a new note to actually save this link but what if i just want to add this to an already existing note what i should do here is just tap where i right here where it says new notes so tap right there and it will take you to your notes right here enter any folder you want and select any like note that you have already created and tap save and now that link will be saved into that note the same goes for maybe let's there is a text that you want to save or something like that a picture or whatever it is you can just go ahead and select it and then of course tap that little share button right here and do the same tap there tap save to and choose whichever note you want so you go back to folders here choose the note you want and then that text or that link or picture whatever it is will be saved on that note and last but not least is a very cool wallpaper trick so did you know that if you go to your settings and you go to the wallpaper section you see a preview of your wallpaper here so most of the time we will have the adjustment of the wallpaper the same on the lock screen and home screen as well did you know that you can actually have a different adjustment on the lock screen so if you just tap right there it will show you the preview of the wallpaper you already have you can go ahead and actually readjust the wallpaper on the lock screen and of course even move it around and now you will have a different adjustment on the lock screen and home screen so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are some really cool iphone tricks and hidden features that you probably didn't know and didn't know that your iphone can do such stuff thank you guys for watching the video don't forget to subscribe for more and leave a like on this one and i will see you on the next video